Well, good morning. Uh, I would like to provide an update on national animal identification in the U.S. and the changes we are making to our ear tag program as a result. We also have some pricing updates to announce. As many of you know, USDA established a new rule in March of 2013 called the Animal Disease Traceability Program for Interstate Movement of Livestock. What makes this program unique from past national ID proposals is twofold. First, this is state-based as opposed to federal. In other words, USDA has developed the guidelines, but the states will implement and enforce the rules. Secondly, this rule is concerned with animals moving across state lines. There is no requirement within the rule that states an animal must be identified to move within the same state. The exception being if a state has their own movement requirements. The new rule consists of three basic components, animal identification, location identification, and animal movement documentation. Before I move into the ear tag details, I want to briefly cover the two components, location ID and animal movement identification. The location component will require states to provide either a state allocated location identification number or a national premises identification number. Obtaining one of these two numbers from your state is necessary before you can order official ear tags. The animal movement documentation component will require the owner or hauler of livestock to have an approved ICBI or other state approved health form when moving animals to a destination in another state. It is important to note that the states are working to develop agreements with each other on what is acceptable between them. An example would be New York and Vermont reaching an agreement on what type of ICVI is acceptable to both states for animal movement. Animal identification within the ADT has been a component we have not only kept a close eye on, but have offered many comments and suggestions during the development phase of ADT. Under the new rule, cattle traveling across state lines must have at least one of two USDA approved ear tag devices. At this point, we are anticipating that these rules will be enforced after March of 2015. The first, which I will discuss in my upcoming slides, are the 840 tags, and the second is the noose tags, more commonly known as the USDA steel tag. Though not common in the dairy industry, it's important to note that some states will accept brands or group lot ID for interstate movement of cattle. Holstein USA will be able to provide members with ear tags that are similar to our current tag lineup but meet all the needs of ADT. For many years, Holstein USA has printed tags with the American ID number, an eight digit number. The American ID number has, has served our industry well, but how, however, there are uh, limitations in the future. Our ear tag, as our ear tag program evolves, we will continue to offer the American ID number tags, but anticipate that many dairy producers will find the new 840 tag a better option. For those of you wondering about your animals that are, that are already identified with Holstein tags and whether they need an 840 tag to move interstate after March of 2015, USDA has addressed the concern and will allow grandfathering of these tags. They will allow these old numbers to filter their way out of the system. Since 2007, Holstein USA has offered one 840 tag option, the 840 RFID. With six plus years under our belt, the various sectors of our industry, like breed associations, DHIA, and on-farm software systems, have addressed many of the concerns with a number of this length and are prepare, prepared for more widespread use. The new offerings are the visual 840 tags. These are non-electronic and utilize the same tag products from our vendor, Allflex USA. As an official tag approved by USDA, you will see some clear differences from our existing visual tags. There is a US shield, a manufacturer's logo, the statement unlawful to remove, and a 2D barcode printed on the face. However, the information that is important to you, the dairy farmer, remain the same. A herd management number printed at the bottom and the registration number. While I have a moment, let me address some of the more common questions 
that we have been asked by members so far. First, what is the cost? The prices for the Visual 840 tags are the same as our existing Visual Tag products. Second, can I get this tag with my custom information? As you can see from the image, there is virtually no room for custom information on the tag. However, this option would work nicely as an inventory tag to put in soon after birth. Custom tags ordered through EasyID would remain the same and would have the matching registration number. The final item I want to cover this morning is the change to our tag pricing. Holstein USA has added a fifth price category for our inventory tags, 2,000 tags or greater. For many years, our lowest price offering was capped at 500 tags or greater, which is now 500 through 1,999. This new price will cover both current American ID tags and the 840 tags we just discussed. As a side note, the price adjustment, the last price adjustment we made with our tag program was in 2010. Before that, all RFID tags were $2.75. If you would like further information about the new products or to review our new prices, please visit the Animal Identification section of the Holstein USA website. For additional information about ADT, I encourage you to visit the USDA website, which contains the full rule, some Q&As, and other resources.